Okay, yeah. the, I, I'll just be, I'll be very, very brief um, on mentioning the word Masih. Um, I mentioned what the word Masih means. The word Masih, and I gave all of those examples, was the one who had um, uh, Baraka, the one that has got, got this blessing um, and is protected. But we also have the Masih Dajjal, the false uh, one. Um, and he is somebody who is, is the exact opposite, which is why in English we call him the Antichrist. So the Masih will slay the Masih Dajjal because the Masih Dajjal towards the end of time will come and he will try to, to spread corruption. So the Mahdi is uh, somebody who comes within that process. Um, but the, the perhaps, I'm not sure whether the question should have been about the Messiah, what's the relationship between the Isa and the Antichrist. The Antichrist will come at the end of time and then Sayyidina Isa who was taken up, he didn't die. Allah took him up. He will return him to the earth. And he will, his, one of his responsibilities will be to defeat the, the, the Antichrist. So that's it, it, kind of where the connection is. And really, if you want to go into the details of that, there, there's many books in there, but uh, the many books to study. But the, the difficulty and the danger of this route for those people that do want to study, it doesn't really bring a great deal of benefit. Because the, the story of the Messiah, of, of Sayyidina Isa, should be related to who you are and it should be practical benefits. Whereas theorizing about what's going to happen at the end of time in some ways diverts you from focusing on what your duties are today. And when we talk about the Mahdi, we know that the qualities of the followers of the Mahdi are the following. There'll be certain things. Now, wouldn't it be better to find out what are those qualities than to focus on the story of what's going to happen? How do I fit into that? Well, if the Mahdi came now, would I be part of his army? Would I fit with him? Would I be, would I, do I, do I deserve to be counted on the side of the good guys? Or am I going to be on the side of the bad guys who are deceiving themselves into thinking they're good guys? They're the kind of questions we should be, be asking, not, not what's, what's, the Mahdi going to look like and what's the Dajjal going to look like and you know how tall is Isa going to be when he comes Jesus is going to be when he comes back they're not you know not really that relevant to to me I don't really have very good answers and apology for not answering very directly <laughs>